will keep that one from a side down. You out there, ladies and gents, how's it going? I'm off on another one of my motor vlogging history motor vlogs. And this time, I'm heading down to Avebury. Now, there's no castle there, but there's some very, very cool and very, very old things that we're going to go and have a look at. It's a bond bug up in front of us. Let's go and have a look at it. These things are really funky. <laughs> Very stupid, but really funky. <laughs> awesome thing. <laughs> What's really awesome about all of these things that I'm going off to see just now is that they're all free. You don't even have to be part of the English heritage to go and have a look at them. And I think that's just bloody amazing. Now the first place I'm going to go and have a look at is called the Sanctuary. And it's a prehistoric burial type place. We're not quite sure what it is, but it was built 3,000 years before Christ, before zombie Jesus walked this earth. Some of the other things I'm gonna go and have a look at, they're gonna be pretty damn spectacular too. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get any dronage, but I will try to think some of it will just look amazing from that aerial perspective. little burial mounds there. Let's go and have an explore. Well this is quite cool. It's not what I was expecting. I was actually expecting there to be um, actual stones there. But this is the sanctuary and it's showing you um, depictions of where the uh, stones would have been placed and uh, the wood markers as well. So when this was originally built it was around two and a half thousand years ago. God knows what it was all about, you know. I hate this health and safety crap where you have to paint stones blue so that people don't trip over them at a place where they go and have a look at stones. It's just stupid. Yeah, this really isn't what I was expecting at all. But it's still pretty awesome. I mean, it would kind of make sense to do some kind of clock, maybe. That's only because we have this perception of time and what a clock looks like. But really quite awesome. Just no clue what this would have been all about. I guess they've had some solstice festivals here, or pagan rituals and stuff with the feathers there. I wonder what it would have looked like with the stones. Pretty awesome I imagine. You can see why I didn't want to do this as just a, an individual visit per item um, because even if this had got the stones there it would take two minutes for me to have a look at it unless I pondered it really muchly um, that would be it really but because I'm not pagan <laughs> or uh, into weirdo cults or uh, religion or anything like that um, the spiritual side of these things doesn't really sort of do much for me because it's just something I don't understand. I can understand in the past why there was a requirement for it because it explains stuff, it explains stuff that you didn't understand. Whereas we've got science now, science is a religion that can be backed up with facts. That's just my opinion. I don't have a problem with anyone who is religious, no matter what faith. I just don't have one. Right, so that was the sanctuary. Now we're off to West Kennet Avenue. Now then, I believe this one's got stones that we can actually see. And I might not even have to get off the bike. Um, turn him right here. Okay, let's have a butcher, shall we? Oh wow. Right, so these 
dot between the sanctuary and Avery and there's like about a hundred of these stones there you go there's loads coming up ahead of us I'm guessing there would have been even more but possibly farmers and stuff have got rid of them because they were a pain so we've got a hundred of these stones scattered all the way between the sanctuary and Avebury and Avebury oh my word that's going to be impressive too I think I deserve a selfie so this is West Kennet Avenue how oh, awesome there's so much work has gone into putting these stones here yet no one has a clue really what they're for other than marking maybe the pilgrimage to Avebury and talking of Avebury here we have it let's find somewhere to park and have a quick wander could really do with a drink that pub's looking very appealing This is Avebury Henge and it's pretty impressive. There's just stones all around. It's just absolutely incredible. Well, these stones have been here since 2800 BC, something like that, and they're still standing. Admittedly, I'm sure they've had some help to keep them up in the air, but just bloody amazing. Absolutely fantastic. So, all around me, there's a big ring with a big ditch and uh, I'm hoping if I get to the edge of it where I'm well out the way of people I'll get the drone up in the air and then maybe you'll be able to see it from above which might look quite cool but just a little bit of scale here hello doggo <laughs> yeah just a little bit of scale there that's at least twice my height I reckon that would have taken some big arms to get it out there Fantasticals. As you can see, it goes across the road there as well. And they basically have been so important to the people of Avebury that they've just stayed here. And the town of Avebury has developed, I guess. Well that was Avebury Now I'm going to cut my exploring a little bit short I was going to go to another site over that way But I'm literally melting um, Yeah, it's really really hot for walking around especially when you've got a leather jacket on and a big bag that I've got to carry around with me so I think it's best that I just cut this one down a little bit I'm going to the next one that I wanted to see though um, which is West Kennet Long Barrow I think that's what it's called and uh, I'm hoping it's signpost because I've got no mobile phone signal so my GPS isn't able to actually search for it Oh wow, that's Silbury Hill. That is uh, the largest artificial structure in the whole of Europe, I believe. Yeah. And we've got Long Barrow here as well, which... Uh, okay. Right, anyway, we're here. <laughs> um, yes, so that's uh, Sil Silbury Hill or something like that and it's the largest man-made structure in the whole of Europe um, I've not been down to Egypt to have a look at the pyramids but apparently it's comparable in size to some of them which is pretty awesome okay let's go and have a look 
at this long barrow I'm going to need a torch which makes it far more exciting. So this is West Kennet long barrow and it's the uh, largest accessible burial site in the whole of uh, Britain. It used to hold uh, 50 dead bodies, um, 50 people were buried here and uh, yeah it's pretty cool and it's accessible too so we're going to go and have a look inside. torch isn't there very much this was quite some work I really don't know if the GoPro is picking up anything from that torch at all cool in here and this is the end of it I wonder if it would have gone on any further in the past it looks well and truly sealed up there I don't think that was there originally awesome quite a pile of rocks It's a long barrel that would have gone on much further. And I'm assuming they'd have been bodied, buried all the way along this. I have to fit 50 in. It would take quite some work to squeeze them all into that little place up there. Wow, that's really cool. And what a stunningly beautiful day. Loads of butterflies, pretty flowers. There's Silbury Hill over there. We'll ride past that. I'm not going to climb it, I'm too tired. <laughs> what a glorious day! All right, well, that's the long barrow done, and there's a hill which I'm not going to climb. <laughs> because I just want to get on with my journey and I'm knackered I'm bloody knackered it's been a tremendous day proper proper adventure well it's kind of cool hill apparently there was no burial there what that's been known of so it's just a big pile of dirt a big pile of dirt indeed that would have taken quite a while to make. And for what purpose, I don't know. Awesome stuff. Anyhow, ladies and gents, that was my adventure. I hope you enjoyed it. I've had a blind in time. I really have, really, really thoroughly enjoyed that. And so much to see here. Absolutely amazing. And to think, that burial chamber was 3,650 years before Christ. So that's nearly 5,000, no, that's nearly 6,000 years old. It's still standing. Fantasticals. Anyways, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a little thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a little thumbs down. It's all good, we don't mind. But whatever you do, please drop in a comment. And let me know what it was that you liked and what it was that you didn't. Have you been anywhere similar? Have you been anywhere more impressive? I must get to Stonehenge at some point. Anyway, you ride safe, take care, and I will catch you all in the next one. Bye for now. Keep that bar. Down. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down. <laughs>